hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel so guys today we are going to talk about pit nile or nile has been has been trending in popularity recently and a lot of people are wondering if they should be buying more uh, selling what they have or just standing on the side to wait for better timing as the market is still very volatile at the moment we should be careful about which stock to pick up and what would be the uh, exposure and the timing of the position we are taking over the past few days the price action of uh, of an uh, bit nile has brought to, brought the stock the 63 cent before stabilizing around 55 cents the short term price trend of bitcoin uh, bit nile has been bearish the market has been uh, hesitate to uh, to send the stock at higher uh, higher place and uh, and we should be looking at a phase of uh, regrouping and then a pickup of volatility soon afterward i think that the current price action is not going to to last and the market has to make a call fairly soon when we look at the long term price trend of pit nile it has been bearish overall the company owns operation the current market narrative and the issues that it is focusing on are are likely the main reason why the capital is not being put in the stock and we should see the situation a bit nile now a bit nile like a, a continuation of the market as as a whole we often tend to think that the individual stock have their own stories and often overlook the collective tendency to go for the same path now let also have a uh, let also have a look at the technical of the stock the trading volume of uh, bit nile has recently been 30 million share versus the average volume of 67 million shares over the previous fatigue to which periods its price has fluctuated between 50 cents and 3 dollars 70 cents so guys the market cap of bit nile was currently at uh, 50 million dollars versus the enterprise value of uh, 84 million dollars the difference between the market cap and the enterprise value is the premium or discount the finance uh, the financial market is willing to allocate to the company based on its current fundamentals leverage and assets composition the enterprise value is the the uh, enterprise value is the combined value of the company assets minus the debts of uh, debts if the company has a lot of debts or has a negative image amongst market participants the assets volume uh, may be impaired without being said at the end of the day it's remain as uh, uh, estimations of the market every time it publishes its financial statement so it's less less reactive than the market and often more uh, lenient for many companies so guys one key element to note regarding the enterprise value is that for many growth time companies one of the most significant assets there Uh, they own is the goodwill uh, is an expectation of the market that the company is able to generate more profit or to grow more rapidly than its rival because it may have a better management team a stronger brand recognition or a big online following it is uh, what make this company unique compared to its competitors in other words it's uh, it's not an intelligent uh, intelligible assets that the company can use but uh, it's uh, often the reason why some companies are perceived to be trading at discount because the enterprise value is less reactive than the market cap in very volatile situation if the company goes to liquidation the goodwill would be completely gone and the stakeholder would be left with uh, far less assets than whatever that is written on the balance sheet at the moment when we compare the current price to the historical price fluctuation the stock is 10% higher than the uh, one month low and 10% higher than the three month low and 10% higher than the 52 weeks low on the option market which often give us a hint about where the stock price like uh, likely gonna go next
द इम्प्लांट वॉलीटिलिटी इज थ्री हंड्रेड थर्टी थ्री परसेंट वर्सेज अ हिस्टोरिकल वॉलीटिलिटी ऑफ वन हंड्रेड सेवेंटी थ्री परसेंट द पुट कॉल वॉल्यूम रेशियो इज करेंटली एट जीरो पॉइंट जीरो वन एंड इट इज़ नॉर्मल फॉर मैनी स्टॉक टू हैव अ हायर पुट ऑप्शन दैन वॉट दे डिजर्व एज मैनी इंस्टीट्यूशनल इन्वेस्टर हैज देयर लॉन्ग पोजिशन बाय बाइंग पुट ऑप्शन एज द मोस्ट रिसेंट वॉल्यूम ऑफ ऑप्शन ट्रेडेड इज सेवन थाउजेंड कॉन्ट्रैक्ट अ डे वर्सेज द थर्टी थर्टी डे एवरेज ऑफ फोर्टीन थाउजेंड सो गाइज मार्केट करेंटली वर्क मोर लाइकली द सेकेंड ऑप्शन एंड अज्यूमिंग दैट इट वुड ऑनली रिफ्लेक्ट द फंडामेंटल्स ऑफ द अंडरलाइंग इकोनॉमी वुड कॉरस्पॉन्ड टू द फर्स्ट ऑप्शन सो गाइज देर आर अ फ्यू एलिमेंट्स दैट आर कंसिडर टू बी द रीजन फॉर द फर्स्ट वन इज द सिग्निफिकेंट इंक्रीज ऑफ अमाउंट ऑफ मनी प्रिंटेड बाय द सेंट्रल बैंक अराउंड द वर्ल्ड विच इज दैन डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड टू द बैंक विद द एक्सपेक्टेशन दैट दे विल बी a loan to business normally that's a good thing but with a lack of opportunity in the real economy the significant portion of that money actually went back to the financial system to buy up the price of existing assets now that accuse have been dropping up or ended around the world i think that's uh, this drive behind assets price may no longer be as relevant as it is right now for the future it is now compensated by the arrival of capital from one region to another and from one sector to another even within the same jurisdiction but the increase of tensions around the world world capital is always looking for a safe haven to park their money into not just for a place to grow the uh, nominal values but with a currency that tends to keep its purchasing power as well the third factor is the uh, creation or the birth of artificial bubbles either maintained by the market trends built up over the year of uh, year or out of necessity the capital needs to, to find a place to stay some good examples of this would include the electric electric vehicle sector in the 2020 and the oil and gas securities when there are tensions around the world either way when it's come to the price trends of the market degree of uncertainty is a key drive behind the price fluctuation and that is likely going to increase as we go on from there one company announced that they are going to enter or exit different market or that they will be trading on uh, different platform and exchanges on top of that we are now uh, seeing a new phenomena with short squeeze involving a group of retail traders propping the stock price forcing short sellers to recover their position sometimes the attempt will not succeed but sometimes they end up in a very spectacular success something else to consider is that trade tech stock with care to start a question when the price of securities skyrocket without real fundamentals it doesn't means that you should not be touching it with a 10 foot pole but it does not mean that there should be a difference between the decision of long term holding and short term trading either the either way a rule of thumb uh, is that each position should be structured in a way so that their individual performance will never affect the portfolio stability